clear now we'll go on to the next one fine so we have completed that also and now i will add another two sentences on the board now morally sang a song pallavi danced we have written two sentences on the board morally sang a song pallavi danced now morally is the subject of this sentence sang is a verb a song is a object hmm pallavi is the subject of this sentence danced is the verb there is no object is it right? yes so in the first sentence we have a subject a verb and an object there in the second sentence we have only a subject and a verb okay so when we have a sentence with an object when we have a sentence with an object that sentence that uh, verb in that sentence right so this is a sentence we have an object to here now this verb in that sentence which has an object after it right which has an object after it is known as a transitive verb what do we call it a, a transitive verb so what is a transitive verb a transitive verb is a verb which has an object after it okay a transitive verb is a verb which has an object after it now look at the second sentence look here only the subject and the verbs are there there is no object the object is missing okay there is no object if there is no object after a verb then that verb is called an intransitive verb right so what is an intransitive verb a verb which doesn't have an object after it is called an intransitive verb so here morally sang a song sang is a verb which has an object after it and then sang is a is a transitive verb in the second sentence pallavi danced danced is a verb which doesn't have an object after it so danced is a an intransitive verb okay now if i say um a rohit wrote a story a rohit wrote a story then uh, we will say the baby the baby cried <coughs> the baby cried now shall we check these two sentences see here we have a subject a rod is the verb a story is an object so what is verb uh, what is a rod verb here it is a transitive verb isn't it it is a transitive verb because it has an object after it now the baby is a subject in the second sentence cried is the verb in the second sentence and is there an object there there is no object and then that is called an intransitive verb got it so we need to check whether the verb has an object after it or not if there is an object that sentence is called a transitive verb 
if there is no object that is called as an intransitive verb. Clear? Yeah. Now we will do an activity, an exercise based on this and then we will continue. Okay.